When you look at these two robots in action, Unitree G1 swinging its waist like how you see it on the screen, while Tesla Optimus almost falling and self-correcting itself, your mind might instantly crown a favorite. But today we're diving deeper than first impressions by comparing features of the two robots. I will first begin with the features of the Unitree G1 version that was recently bought by Kaisenat. Then I will break down the features of Optimus Robot before I close it down with a deeper comparison of physical capabilities like speed, strength, dexterity, and more. Giving my opinion on which one is the best in each area depending on features. By the end, you'll see why one robot might dominate labs in TikTok trends, while the other could redefine industrial automation. And of course, I am using 11 labs for voice generation, but it doesn't affect the quality of the video in any way or make any robot you love not to be as cool like you were expecting. Unitree recently unveiled a more updated version of its G1 robot, and it's packed with some seriously impressive capabilities. In their latest demo, we see the G1 showcasing whole body walking, where the entire body, including the waist, swings naturally as it moves. The robot was also shown running downhill, and what's even more impressive is its ability to correct itself when it's about to fall due to a bad landing. This kind of balance and adaptability is a huge leap forward for humanoid robotics. Unitree also introduced another version of this robot called the G1 Comp, which is designed for more athletic tasks. This version can run and even play football, and it's likely being prepped for events like RoboCup 2025. First off, Unitree has several iterations of this robot, and the $16,000 version is the base model, essentially the entry-level option. But as you start adding more advanced features to it, the price goes up like crazy as if they are using Apple Math by Samtime. What Kai Sinat bought is the G1 EDU Ultimate CU5 model, which is currently the most expensive iteration of the G1 series. So what makes this version so special? Just out of the box, the robot weighs 35 kilograms or 77 pounds, which is a little bit heavy for any person if you try carrying it around or holding it up for a long time. But let's start with the basics. The G1 EDU Ultimate C is a humanoid robot designed for a wide range of applications, particularly in sports and other dynamic environments. It boasts an impressive 41 degrees of freedom, which gives it an incredible range of motion. For comparison, a single leg has six degrees of freedom, the waist has one with optional additional degrees, each arm has five, and each hand has seven. The hands are particularly advanced, with two Inspire five-finger hands that have stiff fingers. But you can buy a three-fingered, dexterous design that includes force control and optional tactile sensors. This allows for precise and delicate manipulation of objects, almost like a human hand. When it comes to movement, it has industrial-grade crossed roller bearings in its joints, which provide high precision and load capacity. The joints are powered by low inertia, high-speed internal rotor permanent magnet synchronous motors, which offer better response speed and heat dissipation. The knee joint, for example, can deliver a maximum torque of 120 newton meters, and the arm can handle a load of up to three kilograms. The robot's legs are about 0.6 meters long, and its arm span is around 0.45 meters, giving it a compact yet powerful build. Despite these advanced capabilities, the G1 is not autonomous. As of now, you have to control it using a remote, which can be linked to the Unitree Explorer app on your smartphone. The robot does come with pre-programmed trigger commands, so you can tell it to move forward, backward, turn left or right, or even wave. But it only understands these commands in English and Chinese, which means it's not using any large language model. It's simply following preloaded instructions, not processing natural language in real time. When it comes to charging, you have to remove the batteries to charge them, there's no self-docking capability yet. You'll need to manually swap out the batteries. The G1 is powered by a built-in 100 TOPS computing unit, thanks to the NVIDIA Jetson Orin module. This gives it the processing power to handle complex tasks, real-time environmental interaction, and even future AI upgrades. Speaking of environmental interaction, the G1 EDU is equipped with a depth camera and 3D LiDAR for advanced sensing. This allows it to navigate and interact with its surroundings with a high degree of precision. It also has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 for seamless connectivity, making it easy to integrate into existing systems or networks. Another interesting feature is the robot's ability to speak. 
or rather its potential to speak. The G1 EDU comes equipped with a four microphone array and a five watt speaker, but out of the box, it doesn't actually talk. But since this is the EDU version, it's designed for development and customization. You could theoretically load it with something like ChatGPT or Gemini and program it to interact with you verbally. In terms of power, it's powered by a 13-string lithium battery with a capacity of 9,000 milliamp hours, which gives it a battery life of about two hours. It also features a local air cooling system to keep things running smoothly, even under heavy loads. One of the standout features of the G1 EDU is its flexibility for secondary development. Unitree has made it clear that this robot is designed to be tinkered with. They provide comprehensive technical support, detailed development manuals, and ongoing ecological support to help users get the most out of the platform. Whether you're a researcher, developer, or just a robotics enthusiast, the G1 EDU offers a lot of room for customization and experimentation. On what you can do with this robot as of now, sadly, there's not a lot that it can do for you, other than for show off, maybe it can help you carrying some heavy items. And also since this is an EDU version, you can play around with it to make it customizable to some of your use cases. When it comes to Tesla, they recently showcased their Optimus robot walking outdoors, and it was quite a sight. In the demo, the robot was about to slip, but managed to self-correct its step on its own. Tesla claims the robot is autonomous, but after the Wii robot event, it's become harder to take their word for it. While it might not be fully autonomous yet, it's possible that the robot is operating under teleoperation, meaning a human is controlling it remotely. Still, the self-correction is impressive and shows how far the robot has come. In a previous demo, Tesla demonstrated that Optimus can now explore unseen spaces autonomously, avoiding people and obstacles using neural networks. What's even cooler is that multiple Optimus robots can work together, building a shared understanding of their environment. This means they can collaborate and navigate complex spaces more efficiently. For example, the robot can locate and navigate to the nearest charging station on its own, docking itself precisely using its rear camera. One of the most impressive features shown recently is the robot's payload capacity. In the latest video, Optimus was seen lifting a battery tray weighing 11 kilograms or 24.25 pounds. While Tesla hasn't officially revealed the maximum payload capacity, it's speculated to be around 20 kilograms or 44 pounds. If true, this would make Optimus a strong contender for tasks that require heavy lifting, both in industrial and domestic settings. Tesla has also trained Optimus to interact with people using a single neural network. The robot can hand people different items upon request, meaning it can understand verbal commands. But as of now, it can't speak back to you, and what we saw at the Wii Robot event was humans speaking through speakers on the robot, not the robot itself. This suggests that while Optimus can listen and respond to commands, true conversational AI isn't fully integrated yet. The hands of the Optimus robot are another standout feature. Each hand has 22 degrees of freedom, with an additional three in the forearm. For comparison, a human hand has 27, which means Optimus is getting close to matching human dexterity. This allows the robot to perform delicate tasks like holding an egg or manipulating small objects with precision. Powering all of this is a 52 volt system with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack designed to let the robot run for a full day on a single charge. This is a huge advantage for practical applications as it reduces downtime and increases efficiency. On the software side, Tesla is leveraging its expertise in full self-driving FSD technology to train Optimus. The same AI algorithms used in Tesla cars have been ported to the robot, allowing it to navigate and move through environments almost autonomously. Optimus has been trained to perform specific tasks like walking, watering plants, and manipulating objects. It also uses deep learning and computer vision along with autopilot cameras and sensors to perceive and interact with its surroundings. The robot's visual navigation system is managed by fully trained end-to-end -end neural networks. Engineers have recorded human motions, like grabbing a box off a shelf and map that data to Optimus. This allows the robot to perform tasks with natural, human-like movements. And because it uses the same AI system as Tesla's vehicles, 
It can remember environments to improve future interactions. In terms of design, Optimus stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 125 pounds. It has a walking speed of about 5 miles per hour or 2.24 meters per second and is equipped with 28 structural actuators that enable smooth and precise movement. The robot also features a 2 degree of freedom, actuated neck, foot force, chaturkic sensing, and articulated toe sections designed to mimic human foot geometry. Tesla has hinted that the estimated price for Optimus will be between $20,000 to $30,000. But given the advanced features, it's likely to end up being more expensive. As for commercialization, Tesla plans to start using the robot in their factories by 2025, initially through teleoperation. This means humans will remotely control the robots to perform tasks, with the goal of eventually achieving full autonomy. So while Tesla's Optimus robot isn't perfect yet, it's clear that they're making significant strides in robotics. From self-correction and heavy lifting to advanced navigation and human-like dexterity, Optimus is shaping up to be a game changer. What do you think? Would you buy one if it hits the market? When it comes to comparing the Tesla Optimus and the Unitree G1, these two humanoid robots represent very different approaches to robotics, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Starting with physical capabilities, the G1 currently appears to be more agile. It can move faster, run, and even perform dynamic whole body movements, which is something Tesla's Optimus hasn't demonstrated yet. The G1's smaller size and lighter weight, 35 kilograms or 77 pounds, contribute to its agility, while Optimus at 125 pounds is bulkier and heavier. But this size difference gives Optimus an edge in strength, as Optimus has been shown lifting 11 kilograms or 24.25 pounds, and experts speculate it could handle up to 20 kilograms or 44 pounds. In contrast, the Unitree G1 can only lift 3 kilograms or 6.6 .6 pounds, making it better suited for lighter tasks. When it comes to dexterity, both robots are impressive. They've been shown handling delicate objects like eggs thanks to tactile sensors. But Optimus has a clear advantage with its 22 degrees of freedom in the hand and an additional three in the forearm, giving it near-human dexterity. The G1, on the other hand, comes with stiff, non-functional plastic hands out of the box. If you want dexterity, you'll need to purchase the optional three-fingered dexterous hand, which has seven active degrees of freedom, three for the thumb, two for the index, and two for the middle finger. Interestingly, research shows that robots don't need five fingers to function effectively. Three fingers are enough for most tasks. But overall, G1 has more degrees of freedom entirely in the body, which is behind this impressive whole body movement, compared to Optimus Robot, which can't be able to pull some of these moves being done by Unitree. In terms of battery life, Tesla claims Optimus can run for a full day on its 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, though this hasn't been fully tested yet. Most robots today, including the Unitree G1, have a runtime of about two hours, which is a significant limitation. However, the G1's battery is removable, meaning you can swap it out for a fully charged one and keep the robot running without having to wait for it to fully recharge. Optimus, on the other hand, can autonomously locate and dock at a charging station, which is a huge advantage in environments like factories where multiple robots are operating. But this means you have to wait some time until it's full before using the robot again. When it comes to AI and intelligence, Tesla is leveraging its in-house expertise, particularly from its FSD technology. Optimus uses neural networks trained on human motion data, allowing it to perform tasks like walking, watering plants, and manipulating objects. Tesla relies on camera vision for perception, which is cost-effective and might be the reason behind their robot costing around the same cost as a car, compared to the Unitree, which uses both LiDAR and a depth camera, which provides more precise spatial mapping, but at a cost. Unitree, on the other hand, uses NVIDIA's Isaac Gym for training, which might be the reason behind such advanced walking, and it also uses Unitree Robot Unified Large Model for advanced capabilities. Both robots are currently not fully autonomous and rely on teleoperation for complex tasks. In terms of applications, the G1 is designed for educational and research purposes, making it highly customizable for developers and institutions. Its open architecture allows for extensive modifications, which is ideal for those looking to experiment with robotics. 
but it is also designed for entertainers and even robot hobbyists who just want to have fun with a robot. But Tesla's Optimus, on the other hand, is primarily aimed at industrial applications, with plans to deploy it in Tesla factories by 2025. However, its potential extends to domestic use, such as assisting with household chores, though this remains speculative for now. Since building robots for homes is a different mountain on its own, finally, let's talk about cost and availability. The Unitree G1 is already on the market, with prices ranging from $16,000 for the base model to $67,000 for the fully loaded EDU version. This gives customers a wide range of options depending on their needs and budget. Tesla's Optimus, however, is still in development, with an estimated price of $20,000 to $30,000. Given the complexity of its hardware, this price point seems optimistic and delays in commercialization are likely. So which robot is better? It depends on your needs. If you're looking for agility, customization, and immediate availability, the Unitree G1 is the clear choice. But if you need strength, advanced dexterity, and the potential for industrial-scale deployment, Tesla's Optimus might be worth the wait. 